You are watching the Doc Talk Show. Welcome back. We are celebrating World Malaria Month in this month of April. And just this week on Thursday, we are going to celebrate the World Malaria Day. This is the day that commemorates all the success that has been achieved in the fight against malaria, as well as the reminders of where we have to go, our new targets. So with me in the studio is uh, Dr. Pigo to tell us more about the successes that have been realized in the fight against malaria, both at the global scale and at the national scale, that is on Uganda. So Dr. Pigo, in, commemor in commemorating World Malaria Month, it's always important to reflect on what we have achieved in the past, how far we have come, so to get an idea of where we are going in the future. So what important successes or milestones have been realized in the fight against malaria? Uh, thank you. Yeah. We have made so much pro uh, progress. First, in terms of people protection, we managed to introduce insecticide-treated nets. Initially, we had non-treated nets. And what we did was to bring, you will remember, KO tab. Mm, Some tablet KO, would yes. give to people and they would treat their nets. Mm. So they needed to retreat it every six months and they're handling chemicals. And the net access was as low as less than 20%. We set an objective that all people should have nets. Mm. So industry found a way of designing a way of incorporating the chemical inside the thread. And we made this universally available using different strategies of giving through antenatal clinics, through uh, immunization clinics, social marketing, and mass distributors. So people are protected. The next thing the world in Uganda has been working on is to get friendly treatment. Mm, and effective friend, treatment. Treat, effective treatment. Effective treatment. Okay. And friendly. Initially, we had only chloroquine. It will eat people. Mm. And it was bitter. And then it developed resistance. We had fancy that it was convenient. You take it once, it developed resistance. We attempted to combine the two. It mm. didn't work well. Mm. Our only alternative was quinine. Mm. Very bitter. Makes you weak. Because yeah, there's dizziness. There's and dizziness. The it has to be given thing. as an injection. Yeah, if it, the injection <coughs> it has to be in a drip mm. for seven days, this was very difficult. Now, friendly treatment has been made, which you take for only three days. And this treatment has been made universally available. Mm -hmm. And its advantage, it does, you know, most the parasite has two forms the form which causes the disease, the form which the mosquito picks to take to the next person. Mm. It clears both of them. You know? mm. so so, uh, sorry, would, you said the, the, the malaria has two disease forms. Yes. Mm. So it, it maybe has, you could elaborate on that a bit. You know, you as a doctor knows the mm. seasons mm. which causes the fever, and then it has the gametocytes, which the mosquito picks to go and develop inside the mosquito mm. to be injected into the person. No, it has two life cycles inside a person and inside a mosquito. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so they are meaning the life cycles, the life one cycle, of the yeah. mosquito and the one within the yeah. human So being. the new medicine is, uh, uh, it kills both of them. The world also has progressed with the chemicals for killing mosquitoes. We used to have only DDT and DDT is a permanent pollutant. Now they are more friendly chemicals which we can use to spray our houses, which we can put inside paint and mm. we put together with the, with the paint. The wireless progress has made the repellents, most people know odomos, mm -hmm. but there are also more friendly ones like ropa free. We have learned how to treat the clothes for those who must be outside. We have learned how to have tents which are treated for, for refugees. Not only that, we are now able to make the malaria medicines in our own country. Mm, which is a very big 
very big bonus a big if you bonus. can produce the drug it means you don't have to rely on imports you don't have to rely you on imports you can manufacture the drugs within, within your own the country, country. It was a make major, it very cost effective it made a government effort mm. a public private partnership to attract that technology here and we are supplying the whole region with with that medicine we are importing it mm. we have now even set factories for mosquito net production mm. now for paint production we are also setting some to make larvicide so that we destroy mosquitoes where they are breeding okay so there is a lot, a lot of uh, progress. Also, government has made dedicated funds for control of malaria. It has created a program where I work, dedicated for the Global Fund, is giving us over $60 million per year. It has attracted the UK government through UK aid, giving us money has attracted the Americans through the President's Malaria Initiative. Gives us over $30 million yeah. per year for malaria control. Yeah. So there is and also a, not forgetting our government's own contribution. Our own how government much, is putting, How much have they contributed? It is putting over $10 million per year. Mm. This is and that's also in addition to in a, the campaigns, yes. the distribution of mosquito nets, and production what of the drugs. Also generally in the health system in terms of my salary, in terms of, uh, in terms of the health workers, mm. the medicines, the health facilities in all mm. sub-counties where we, we run this service. Mm. So there is a lot to celebrate been a lot. in this month. Uh, the things improving, statistics. Yes, in the, statistics. the statistics has improved so much. When a, a dedicated program was set, we were at 62% prevalence, very high. That is, that is the whole, is that a national prevalence? The national prevalence. So it was at 62? 62. 62. That's almost two-thirds of everyone in the country had was malaria. Was having malaria at any one time. By 2009, we came down to 42%. By 2009, 14, we came down to 19%. Now we set ourselves a target to go to 7% and eventually to zero by 2030. There is so much progress. As I said before, the people using NET, NET availability, if you do any household survey, is over 90%. NET usage is over 80%. Um, some places have very low malaria right now. The Kampala Metropolitan is one of it. Most of you know in your house, for a whole month, nobody has got malaria. Or even for a whole year, nobody has got malaria in mm. your own house. Mm. Okay. So well, this, some people even take longer than one year, even some people take five years, five or years, ten years without getting malaria. Mm. Now, based on this, we would like to use this opportunity to position now for malaria elimination. You know? So we are trying to use this whole malaria month to rethink, to remobilize. Mm. So after the break, we shall come back to learn more about World Malaria Month in particular. What activities had been planned? What has been done? to celebrate this World Malaria Month and which activities are there to look forward to. Remember you can send in your questions or comments on our social media platforms. We're always happy to be to hear from you, to respond to your questions. So don't feel shy to send in the questions. You can also check out, subscribe and like our YouTube page. That's the Doc Talk page in case you've missed some of these uh, TV programs. You'll find them uploaded right on the internet. Don't go away. You are watching The Dog Talk Show.